If you want a tutorial on what celebrities are doing, this is what you want to hear. Everything was too much, the pressure is too high. and What goes on in the real lives of celebrities? Behind the fame. Hollywire is bringing you behind the fame. The fame. What is up, Holly Wire? We got in real life here What's up? What's on up, our buddy? podcast what up? behind the fame. What's going on, guys? We're chilling. We're loving life. Very oh. happy to be here. I had to fix my Very posture happy. real quick. Yeah, fix the posture. Like, <laughs> Everybody's comfortable. Yeah. Everybody's in there for a, for a hot minute. We're all ready for the for the thirty for minutes. A hot yes. minute. He's like what thirty minutes? Podcast Everyone's live. Dead. I'm down. Wait, we were all just doing like the, the what was that you guys were doing before this? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yes, Can we maybe like do uh, Hollywire in the most like Hollywire. That's the vibes. Can we all go down? We're gonna give you the weirdest noise you can possible in the microphone. Whoa. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna say your, I'm gonna, no, you can't. 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 That's it. 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 This is for, this is for the guys ready for this. This is for the listeners so they can like relate. They can relate to individually who you are. Okay. And I'm gonna say their name first, and then you just give out. You you give a noise. You give a noise. Okay. Here we go. We'll start with uh, Sergio. Okay, Michael. Oh. <laughs> uh, Drew. <laughs> this is crazy. This is, I agree. This is. <laughs> this is. I feel like we're at a zoo. Yeah. <laughs> we're at a zoo. Kiss. Kiss. <laughs> 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 Wait, can you repeat that? Brady. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, we're definitely at a zoo right now. That's so. <laughs> we're in a cage. You're a dolphin. I've actually that one tripped me out the other day because I heard a video. I thought it was like a like a stray dog or something. I don't know. I don't. I seriously don't know how to do it. I don't know. It's kind of wild. Really I can't I even do that. that. That's, that's impressive. Crazy. So guys, let's get into some real talk because that's really yes. what we want to do with behind the fame. We want to make this like real. Like don't don't hold back. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. You know okay. what I mean? I want to hear like we the real story. Real we have people. a lot of stuff on Holly Wire where it's a lot of <laughs> noises and sounds like that. <laughs> okay. This time we That's want the real, thing. we want to get really deep. The juice. The, the like real we stuff. Want the we, we want the tea. We want the tea from right. in real life. Well, well, I'm going to let Jan, Jan, you always oh like God. to spill the tea questions. What, what do we have here? Can we, can we just like move on to like romantic relationships? I'm like sitting here waiting to talk about the good stuff. Spill it. So, okay. Relationships. Um, Today, with social media, it's like Ooh. easier than ever. I per well, easier and harder to kind of do relationships with social media. It's awful. Yeah, it's, <laughs> it's pretty. Awful it's pretty thing. bad. It's pretty bad. Wait, what do you mean? Like, I mean, it can it can really just Wait. make it can make or break you. Yeah. You know, yeah, yeah, like right. social media and it's, relationships. Get the question out, Jana. Okay. What are you want to ask these guys? <laughs> yeah, what's, what's good? The tea? What's, what's, the tea? Good, what's going on? Spit it out. Okay, so what's like the, the tea is when you guys meet people, do you do it through like? Social media, do you have girls in your DMs and you're like, oh, okay, cool. Oh. Or, or are you <laughs> meeting them in real life? <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. I'm, I'm in both. <laughs> oh, sorry. I, um, <laughs> me personally, I'm more of a real life situation type of person. Okay. I don't like the internet. I think it's a little, I don't like, like the internet. It's like very, I don't know, just like, yeah. I mean, I would never I have that. a relationship like online. Like, I feel like that's weird. Like, I would, I would be like, <laughs> well, uh, yeah. <laughs> I'd be like, yo, like. Like let's let's like meet up or something, but I'd never like talk to them like and be like, oh yeah, like I miss you, like let's like, yeah, no, you know right. what I mean. Like, girls are I would have to have that okay, but at the same time, the chat room. Into keep the deep. In the chat room. Yeah. At the same <laughs> time, though, like, there's there's definitely in in real life um, things that are happening. Um, but like, I, thank you. Um, but uh, I, wow, this is so, so long. Um, <laughs> but no, but at the same time, if someone mad cute size in your DMs, like definitely answering. Like, yeah. So you're, yeah, you guys are look, you're actively no, actively at like, like no. yeah. actively that's that's a strong yeah. I have that's a strong word. I have a point. the The problem with the whole like social media thing with when people have followers and that starts like playing a part in it is like people start looking at that number instead of like who you are. Yeah, totally. Okay. What's the word? Then you can no, uh, yeah, it's it's not like an superficial. authentic relationship. Yeah. Yeah. It's very yeah, superficial. Superficial, that's the yeah. word. I love that. They want to meet you for your Instagram page, but not really you. Yes. Yeah. Right. And as soon as you're not yeah. doing something cool, you're not They're cool. Like, eh. I think that's why a lot of artists like date other artists because they understand what each other are going through. Exactly. Totally. And wow, so this is a great topic. Yeah, here yeah. we go. Have you guys dated another artist? Have I dated another artist? Yeah. Someone so in the biz. Yeah. I don't think yeah. you have. Oh yes, you have. I, yeah. Yes. Well, you went on a date or two or three, right? Who are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> you don't need to say their names if you want to, but 
She has what like, era was but this? she's like, this is called like, spell the T. Purple but hair sometimes. Purple, purple hair. hair. No, it was on Raya. No, no, no. Raya. Oh. They're whispering. Uh oh. No, no, no. There's been conversations with other artists. That's fine. right? Nothing is happening. No. Yeah, no. It's just a conversation. I see what you're doing. Dated, like dated, dated. No. Cool. Okay. Would you ever date a fan? Yeah. I've seen Love some that. really attractive fans sometimes. Like they're like it's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, yo, did you? Whoa. Yeah, it's all the time. <laughs> Whoa. They are out there. there. It was one of those moments. <laughs> yeah, that happened Dude, recently. Yeah. yeah, at the airport, I was like, oh, it was crazy. <laughs> he, was like, <laughs> he was like, he was like, hey, did you? She's beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was like, did yeah, you man. see that girl? And she's like, he was like, yes. <laughs> he said, yes. <laughs> <laughs> all right, fans. So that question. you heard so it here. What's up? <laughs> Slide into those DMs. Yeah. <laughs> Hit up the all requests. Your song "Crazy AF" yeah. on theme. Plugging it. Have you ever had like a Stream crazy it. girl, not stalker, but maybe just like a crazy unhealthy red flag? Red, red flag. flag. Yeah, yeah, all of that stuff. Uh, yeah, 100%. I feel like I Chance haven't. Perez has. I didn't. Yeah, I, don't, I, I didn't want to say it, but I was thinking. <laughs> 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 yeah. yeah. Long story short, I was in a relationship. Uh, it was not good for either of us, and. Neither of us would admit that for a while, just because we liked being with each other. So, um, yeah, just the toxicity kind of got to it, and it, and it fizzled out. What is your advice on, like, getting out of that? Honestly, I th- I think I've learned now, if you start seeing the red flags, then um, you should really take those into account. Because yeah. a lot of people just ignore them b- based totally. on, like, emotions and, like, how they feel in that moment. Just like, oh, yeah. but I think this person's so cute. Like, we should give it a try regardless. But yeah. keep yeah. in mind those red flags because it's there That's for a the reason. Thing. I always try and convince myself for like a long time that like it's going to be fine and like we c- like we can work it based on those things, yeah. you know, and that only makes it worse. That's Yo. refreshing. We all do. We must all. We all do it then. It, no. if, yeah. if some girl wants you to get a tattoo. That's, oh, a no. hey. that's an absolute no. no. That's a negative. You guys got a I phone called Tassin. No, Drew. One of you, no, Drew. One of you Yo, Drew. said Drew? that they might Drew, don't yeah, do no, it. I, I, Drew. Don't I was thinking about it. So Drew I was here. like, no means no. Because then I thought about the no song tattoo, and I was just like, Maybe I like do want to like do this, you know? And then I was like, it's nah. a no. So what you tell us what it's happened? A no. Somebody <laughs> wanted to get, some girl wanted you to get a tattoo. She didn't want me to. I was just like, yo, I'm thinking you about like getting. This. So, yeah. so, so you. And I told her, and I was like, yeah, I'm thinking about getting. She was probably and not getting tattoo. I was just like, I she was like, nah, you don't like. You probably shouldn't. And I was like, yeah, you're right. Like that's actually. <laughs> she talked you out of getting tattoo. It's actually crazy AF. Yeah. How did how did this happen? How did you guys get to where you are right now? Like why? What happened? Determination, hard well, work. Okay, so it was actually, it was it was kind of cool because we all w- like wound up on this random show in very different ways, um, and like all of us kind of approached it differently and were found in different ways. Like like for me, for example, like I like I it was an accident kind of like I th- I thought it was a <laughs> scripted show. And then I wound up going. I literally, He's I literally like, I'm thought going I was going <laughs> He's like, ready for um, my mom. Now I'm stuck. No, I'm just kidding. Um, no, but I went. Um, <laughs> uh, no, but I went, and, and like everyone was super talented. And I was like, okay, like this is definitely like an elevated form of whatever I was doing before. You know what I'm saying? So it really you, was a random yeah. show too. It was so like, random. The producers were even talking about how it was kind of put together last minute. Like they had this idea, but it was thrown together like yeah. really quickly and they weren't sure if it was going to like go through. So, I mean, it's, it was kind of the same for us. Like crazy. the audition processes for shows like that are usually months and months and months in advance. Ours was like, what, two, two months? Yeah, yeah, that two show months was in like advance. greenlit like three or four months before they actually like started filming yeah. it. It was a genius idea. It was crazy. Yeah. Yeah. Put a bunch of boys yeah. together. Yeah. Look, look what they did. Yeah. yeah, they did <laughs> change crazy. our life forever, yeah. honestly. Yeah. Yeah. It's very true. We don't it know where we would tough. be if it wasn't for the show, honestly. Like, we yeah. were all, like, like he said, it, we felt ele- elevated when we got there. Yeah. And it's like, I feel like we had to go through that to like make us who we are now, I guess. Exactly. Yeah. It was so hard. <laughs> it was so yeah. hard. These like reality, g- not game shows, like competition shows. Yeah. Mm-hmm. How like <coughs> real are they? Like there's so much, my friend did like So You Think oh. You Can Dance. And like they were trying to get this like emotional story out of her. Like when yeah. she, like for yeah. production. And they're like, okay, we'll take her. She's not that great of a dancer, but like, yeah, you yeah. know what I mean? Like yeah. how Producers love real a story. was um, it? And based off talent. Based off talent? Yeah. These yeah. are the oh, most talented dudes in the room, yeah. right? These guys. Know, <laughs> they were saying, like, we're talented. Saying, yeah, yeah, yeah. This was talent. Most talented win. But do you know what I mean? No, yeah. these yeah. shows are so produced. Well, at the like, end of the day, it's the in it's the engagement you have with the audience. That's totally. what that's why we all won at yeah. the end of the day. We had the yeah. strongest connection with the fans, I guess. Yeah. So yeah. at the end of the day, it didn't really matter. All like it it did it does matter, the but fans. if it, it all comes back down to them. Yeah, yeah, exactly. They vote, they and it's and as far as it being real, like 
I I def there's definitely moments where I was like, okay, this is this is kind of ridiculous. Like, you know what I mean? Like you're doing something. Yeah, I hate but being I, f- I feel like camera. no, but no, but <laughs> compared to other reality shows, yeah. I feel like it was pretty like yeah. all of us kind of at the beginning were like, okay, like we're not gonna make up stuff about each other. Like we're not gonna like all of us were homies. Yeah. So yeah. we're like, okay, we're not yeah. gonna do like this. The show could have turned like yeah. into like a bachelor yeah. type yeah. Yeah. drama yeah. situation. Yeah. It really could have. All of us like in the audition process were like, okay, like we're still like just random kids. Like we're not gonna like try to make up all this stuff to get it right. more interesting or get votes. Yeah. Like, we all kind of agreed that ahead of time. Yeah. Producers did, I felt, well, at least while we were on the show, I felt like the producers actually cared about us. Definitely. Aww. So, I yeah, mean, we still talk to a lot of them, too, so it's yeah. like. Yeah. It's important. And now you're here. Now we're now here. We're finally, finally here. here. Finally here. <laughs> finally here. Yeah. <laughs> so we, we have three really big topics that we're going to cover. Yeah. Okay. And this will be, this will be <coughs> great. Relationships. And okay. a good relationship is, like, from that show... To where you guys guys are now? Yeah. Have, have you guys grown stronger together? Is it is it for, what's going on? How yeah. how is the relationship intertwining? Who's best friends? Uh, just a little. I mean, I guess a little summary of like yeah. kind of. So like you're put together, right? And you go throughout the year. You're kind of adjusting to who each other are, who, whatever this whole band thing means. And then, for for a while, we had a break and we got to go home and like like hang out with all of our friends and mm-hmm. our family and stuff and I think that when we came back it was kind of like oh we we have this we kind of recharged and kind of gained a sense of like where we came from almost Definitely. I don't know if you're if you're an artist you have to find like your your fight what you stand for and stuff so it's really important to know where you come from yeah. and like that if you know where you're from you know where you can go from there so it's like we've the last two years year and a half we've spent kind of figuring out just who we are and what we want to accomplish because you got five different dudes with five different definitions of success and it's how do you take all those definitions of success to make one like common goal and something that we all want to like be a part of like how do we make sure that we make the most of this and I was like, I was just talking to Sergio the other day. Like, I, I feel like when we first, like, the first house we had, we, we all got in the Airbnb. It was cool. We were all hanging out. And I remember, like, when we were talking, we were like, oh, we're all best friends. Like, we were talking there. I was looking back. I was talking to Sergio. I was like, I don't think I knew y'all that well at that point at all, yeah. to yeah, be honest. Yeah, at all. Like, I was, like, I was thinking about it. I was like, my interpretation of, like, who Drew was, who Sergio was, like, very different from now. Like, I didn't know them. The, la- the, the past few months is, like, probably the closest we've ever been, to be honest. Like, we have... Even all of last year, like it, it was a time of trying to get like used to each other and figure out new things and all that. Because a lot of bands, before they put anything out or do anything, they have that period of time where they live together and they just hang out or they just do stuff. And we didn't have that. We won the show and went straight into this. So it was hard trying to uh, figure that out while working and doing all the stuff that we've been doing. But um, uh, luckily we had that time earlier this year and it's just been fun. How has the, I hate to use the word fame necessarily, but obviously it's a transition. Do you think that has, is what has made you guys, your bond stronger exactly? Or is it just constantly being around each other all the time? Um, I think there's a lot of things that contribute to us bonding. I mean, like we said, the first year, we kind of just went into it trying to figure out who we were as a group, who we were as people, who we were as artists. And there was so much pressure and we knew each other in the most extremes of situations. But the thing that we didn't get to do is just hang out with with no pressure on us, and yeah. I think uh, the last. <laughs> this show facts. Like he's saying, like Wait, it's just like so true. Um, Connor, um, we're creating songs Should be. Here. <laughs> Connor mentioned earlier that we had a break. Um, that was from like November to mid January or something like that, and that was when we got to go home and relax. And when we came back, we were all just like a lot more mellowed out. And we really got to spend time with each other throughout yeah. like January, yeah, February, like March, and a half. without yeah. too much yeah. pressure on us. So yeah, I think uh, that definitely helped with our bond. Well, and if you if you think about it, that was the first time that we were like hanging out when we didn't have like stuff to do. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Like we were just like, okay, by choice, even though we don't have work, we're all gonna just stay together and chill. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like that's just cool. That's where you got <laughs> to see like who we really were. Yeah, like, exactly. And not the most extremes. Yeah, so you know, when there's so much life. pressure on you all the time. In re- in real, in real life. life. Wow. Yeah. I, yeah. I, I knew that. Life. Are you guys using that? No all, that's a good <laughs> you guys using all the time. Oh, uh, we, we like haven't it. used it. It's been used <laughs> a lot. But I think actually that's another thing. I think we're finding more of an identity with our name because it was something mm-hmm. that was, it wasn't necessarily like given to us. Like we chose it technically. But I think now we're kind of finding an identity. And we always say everything always happens for a reason. So it's like, like it or not, like that's our name. So how do we make it like, and it's in real life. So it's like, it has to 
it has to literally mean that yeah literally mean that or else like wh- yeah i want to talk a little bit about your song coming out can we talk about it she do oh yes. yeah she do. Um, really yes, cool uh one of the boys from pretty much was it brandon, brandon. 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 he wrote yes. it right yeah, he's, he's one of the writers um writer. what is your relationship like with like other boy bands like pretty much um sick. it's I know sick you guys honestly know. yeah um, it's really dope we've gotten to know them over the past couple of years and uh, when we were first starting out, I remember uh, Why Don't We, the, we saw them at the VMAs, and yeah. I remember, oh, I think it was yeah. Jonah, he was, like, waiting in the hallway, and he, like, made sure to, like, say what's up to each one of us, yeah. and, like, they were all super cool, and we all, we, we follow each other, we, we talk every once in a while, and make sure everyone's good, yeah. if you have a dope song, we're, like, sick song, vice it's versa. Almost like, it's almost like, all of us recognize that people expect us to fight, so, like, we make right. the extra effort. Yeah, to I was like actually having a conversation with Austin um, last time I saw him, and he was just like, oh, we, like, media tries to, like, put us, push us, like, against each other and, like, make it seem like we have some kind of beef when, like, we really don't. I was like, yeah, yeah like, like we both know, like, we don't care. Do you think like, that that's what we're trying to do? No. <laughs> yeah, Holly Wire. Holly like, Wire like, specific. yeah. Holly like, specifically. Like, Holly Wire specifically. It's not even necessarily, like, the media. It's just, like, the music industry Perception. in general, yeah. They're like fans. Yeah. They're I would say fans. it's more the fans. I yeah. think they like pick a side when like. Yeah. The I mean, that, I mean, in all all fairness, that's how it used to be with like Instinct and Backstreet. Like, yeah. there's a healthy that competition, but as long as it doesn't Wonder become like something too. really messed up. Like, who yeah. was their beef with? I forgot. They had the like wanted, they had like a big wanted, yeah. Oh, the wanted, wanted, yeah, like a big Twitter thing. So we had thing. this one show in uh, San Francisco. And it was us, pretty oh. much, and why don't we? And appa- I was well, I was looking on Twitter. Wow. Apparently, there was like actual fan fights. Yeah. Like yeah. people were <laughs> actually fighting. <laughs> that's so cool. <laughs> he said that's so cool. That's show. fire. That's so cool. <laughs> it was kind of dope. <laughs> <laughs> There's a photo, and I was talking to your guys' manager a couple days ago. Yeah. And it is going to. It is probably legendary. I think ten oh, years from now, yeah. people will look back at it. There's a photo of you guys, pretty much, in Asher Angel. Oh, yeah. I swear yeah. to God, 10 years Kitopia. ago, people are going to look back at them like, was, oh, my that was God. Kitopia. Yeah. That was Kitopia. That was Kitopia. Like, just all legends, just, like, in this yeah. one photo. Oh, it's yeah. a, it is, like, an that epic Asher, frame, frameable. Asher looks like power. a baby in that picture. Yeah. He's Yo, grown he, so much he, the last yeah. year. Yeah. yeah. It's yeah. nuts. <laughs> I just saw him yesterday. He's a homie. He's, he's definitely hitting. He's pretty. doing great. I'll, <laughs> I'll tell you that right now. He's doing great. That. He's doing so he's good. He's doing great. We love Asher. Yeah. What is that? Did you guys see his music video? Oh, yeah. Of yeah, yeah. course. Love yeah. So good. Love it. Shout out to Asher. Angels. Shout, out. Shout out Asher. You guys th- did a, a thing. You guys jumped on stage a couple yeah. of while ago. Yeah. So Wiz had, um, and this is song One Thought Away, there's a Wiz verse. And one of Asher's managers called me and was like, hey, would you want to do Wiz's verse at Kidtopia? And I was like, what? Uh no, I want to do my own. So I wrote something to it, went out, and it was cool. Didn't you? You just going by what? Are, what are you going Counter. by? Yeah, Man, no, I'm yeah, going. Yeah. I'm going through a little bit. I'm going through a little <laughs> bit of identity crisis right now because you know I feel like I'm growing up and I feel like I'm just becoming more in tune with who I am. I went back home for a little bit, got to visit my brothers and my old friends and stuff, and I was like, everyone just calls me Connor there. When I came out to L.A., everyone was calling me Michael for the first time. So I was like, okay, I guess this is like my L.A. identity, and then I go back home, and the people who know me will call me by my real name. But then that turned in, like, this has become more of my, like, home almost. Like, I'm here more than I'm home. So I might, like, lose myself if I'm, like, getting called by, like, I don't know. It's 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 very it's very very basic. I no, guess. No, I get it. I get it. Principle, yeah, I the, but we were just I had the kind same of talking thing. about yeah, this. Yeah, yeah, I had the same thing. That's why I got this tattoo because I was just like, I don't want to lose myself through everything because you know, wherever we are, I have to kind of like adapt to what I, like what I sound like or like. But I don't want to do that anymore. I just want to like be me, and I think that's where that resonates too. We have oh, a little game we're gonna play for, for the you guys. Yeah, it's like it's a fun game. They're all, here we go, what's the game? How does this game work? Um, it's actually, it's six second challenge. Oh. You need your phones. Phones? Okay. They yeah. need their phones for this. This is <laughs> no what it sounds stress. like when, when start no when starts the game. You have six okay. seconds, you have six after, seconds. That buzzer. after that buzzer to answer yeah. these questions. Are we going through oh, okay, like cool. photos or something? I don't know I what they're doing. Is it like speed rounds or we all have to Why answer the question? Well, let's find out. Let's, let's find, find out and stop asking questions. I'm, I'm, in, I'm, I'm in the dark here too, guys. Let's figure okay. this out. Here we go. Are you guys ready? Yeah. Sergio's first. Okay. Three celebrities in your DMs. Wait, I have to pull them out? I yeah, know. I should have told them to go to their DMs first, realistically. Uh, 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 da, 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 da. That's that's going to take sorry, days. Sorry, sorry, Go to your DMs, and then we'll hit the buzzer. They're way beyond six seconds. So, wait, what do I, I do? Do I just say the name, or do I have yeah. to show them? Yeah, three celebrities in your DMs. Okay, so Khalid, uh, let's say Eric from CNCO. Oh, wow. Um, 
Their fans are Jake stealing Miller. our video. Jake Miller. My yeah. oh boy, we should Great call guy. him right He's now. Let's we'll 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 FaceTime him. Let's FaceTime him. Let's FaceTime Jake Miller. I FaceTimed him in like three interviews. I'm not going to lie to you. Okay, Tony. That was way more than six seconds. That was way more than six seconds. That was more. Okay. That was good. I'm satisfied with that. I was like, okay. Anyone else got any any cool people in their DMs? Jordan Fisher. Oh, he's cool. Do you know who Asher? 24 karat golden is? I really like his song that just came out. AJ Mitchell's tight. We've made a lot of vision. He's cool. Drew Vision. He's just dope. Oh, yeah. We've done a lot of names. Okay, yeah, we can move on, on for that on. one. <laughs> 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 that was fun. Let's anybody really special. Okay, Connor, two artists that you look up to. Uh, Kendrick Lamar and Jay Z. Cool. That was in three seconds. That, that was, was in three that seconds. Was, that was, was a new record. Okay. Um, ding, ding. Chance, two artists that you look up to. Michael Jackson, Justin Timberlake. Wow. One Ooh. second. I mean, Kings. Jesus. The thing, you broke the, the timer that was so fast. <laughs> you killed that. Um, okay, Thank Drew, you. two artists that you look up to. Bruno Mars, Adam Levine. He didn't even sign it. Wow. I love uh, everybody's Adam got Levine? like their you own thing, Levine? too, here. I love that. It's very different. different. Yeah. Everybody's yeah. got yeah. a very different very vibe different. here. I love that. Okay, Brady, your turn. Coltrane and Frank Ocean. Cool. Oh. You guys have the cool. It's these are very I cool answers. Trip. They're also different. Um, all right, Sergio. Uh, Prince, Prince Royce, Royce and Charlie Puth. Ooh, I love cool. I was waiting for Prince Royce. Cool, cool, cool. What did you say? Prince Royce. I hate you. you. I just wanted to hear you say it. Prince okay. Royce. Um, moving on. Ooh, this one's fun. Two celeb crushes. Oh. Sergio, go. Uh, Vanessa Hudgens <laughs> and. I actually don't know my second one. I don't. I'm loyal to Vanessa. <laughs> <laughs> 2006, Vanessa. If you see this, I love you. <laughs> no one else. You're talking about it this week. We can we can add this to four. Yeah. We can, you can give four because yeah. we want this to be really challenging. Be challenging. <laughs> okay, Brady, you ready? Brady, here we go. Four, really? Three, 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 three. three celebrity crushes Red. in six seconds. Let's go. Three celebrity crushes. Yep. Three, oh gosh. Three. Okay, Tori Kelly, Brandy, and um. Uh, Shoot. Uh, oh. Uh, oh, my gosh. Demi Rose Mobby. You lost. I couldn't think of another woman. <laughs> you, you don't have enough you celebrity crushes. Uh, turns out no, you're bad. Dude, I I'm not gonna All right, Chance. All right. You ready? Uh, yeah. All right. No. <laughs> Three celebrity crushes. Go. Ariana Grande, uh, Fletcher. Oh, wow. Oh, yeah. And, uh, oh, I had another one. Oh, Charlie Jordan. Oh, Wait, did Fletcher. He get it? Oh no, you got seven. Yeah, I'll give it to him now. Okay. I feel like it was my fault. I have two. I can't think of a third one. Well, um, you ready? Let's let's see. I'm not. Maybe I'll let you slide. Okay, go. Uh, Billie Eilish, Camila Cabello, um, and I don't know what else. Uh, uh, just love pushing that button. <laughs> that Camila Sean video. That video, I watched it yesterday, and I watched the behind the scenes because I'm a fan. Yeah. I was like sweating. I was like, okay, like, oh my god. <laughs> I haven't seen it yet, but I've seen like pictures, and it looks it's really crazy. Cute. Okay, last one. You haven't done yours, and then we'll move on. Okay. Okay, two yeah. celebrity crushes. Go. Go. Oh, um, Zendaya. Um, She's amazing. Uh, Kalani and oh, I just dang, that I was six seconds. <laughs> was that six seconds? Like I'm sorry. I got him off at four. I got him off at four. Sorry, I probably would have gotten it anyways. I can't think that of it. That was great. That was good. <laughs> You guys all have had such different answers to. It's just kind of cool. Yeah, yeah, you know, it's cool. Different. She got she got dope tats. Kehlani, yeah, yeah, she's yeah. she's a baddie. She's a uh, <laughs> baddie. Um, she, I, I, maybe a I just saw somebody whoa. Well. I saw a whoa well happen. Yeah. There, there, well there was a happens, couple yeah. There was a whoa. Well. He woed. <laughs> she woed. Yeah. The, we for all, the people who are listening and don't know what a woe is, <laughs> we come to our video and there's a woe dance move happening. Yeah, yeah, here it is. I love the woe. Oh. <laughs> he said, "That was a little gentle." Because <laughs> you you tossed it up like this. Like oh yeah, and it was it was cloud. it was floating, and then it just fell pretty slow. What we've been doing recently is we're just like randomly throw it, and, and then <laughs> if you don't catch it, if you don't catch it, you it's just everyone like, just not disappointed. The like, oh, you did not catch that. I was like, oh, you did not catch that. I messed up. Uh, Moving on, okay. fashion and style. Oh, this is so Brady? like. Before you guys were in real life, Before. was your style? How has your style evolved Can from, we show pictures? from single oh, to boy band? I think we need our phones um, again. It's funny you say that because um, I haven't worn pink in a while, but when I was on the show, I wore pink every day. Really? Like, I love pink. Love bro, pink. I wore pink. No, <laughs> Mike walked just, up to me one day. He was like, "Yo, this is your like seventh Instagram picture with pink in it." <laughs> <laughs> I was like, yeah, "Yeah." Tough guys wear pink. I just had the basic New York style, like baggy jeans, like. <laughs> 
just a black jacket or just a white t-shirt and i would just rock that all the time uh, where you were, now where, you were name dropping earlier you're from new york, new york. Where, yeah new york yeah. you you lived on the same street as jennifer oh no no Lopez. i grew up yeah I, she grew up in castle hill and i lived there too for like two or three years so you guys so you guys <laughs> know each other basically. yeah so we're basically like homies but there's basically that there's that east coast basically. style though there's that east coast vibe yeah. style black that's and white thing. Yeah, real like classic Tim's, you know he Vans. does always wear <laughs> black and white that's crazy yeah, it's true black, it's still kind of it's still kind of there yeah. Right, yeah. Yo, what I about missed, you, Connor? I missed the what bandanas. Yeah. yeah. The bandanas. Uh, before, I don't know. I was kind of just, it was just some regular stuff. It was like, it was I know how to like, say but it. It's I always like, had what a, is regular? Like, oh, I used to wear just a lot of, like, artist um, merch. Right. Yes. Like, I would I'm always order. I'm doing that right now. I got a Nipsey shirt. I got the revenge thing. And I think that, I don't know. It's just, like, I kind of like to wear my inspirations on my sleeve, like, show support to other that's a artist I like. Are you guys involved in your merch when you guys design your your merch stuff? Yeah, we are we, now. We are, That's we are now. That is where it's at, though. Yeah. That is where it's at. You know what? Uh, yeah, we're Just because that that may sound some type of way, but really what it is is like we we didn't know. we we didn't know. Yeah. Like oh, we what? we yeah. we had so much that we learned the last year, and we had so much adjusting to do, and so we did need like a people. lot of people like at our label, like Thanks our managers, to really help us out and like do so like help us out with some things because it. Like we said, it's a lot of adjustment. But now we, we're good. We hung out with Lit. Steve Aoki, so and that sad. is like his number oh one. He's a that's priority for. Yeah. I swear to God, Merch? that is like yeah. priority for him. Like he like yeah. he only wears his gear. That's he, sick. Yeah, bro, his like show is nuts. I, I saw it in Vegas. Dim was crazy. All the way down. If you can wear his show in Vegas clothes. was crazy. Oh yeah. Gosh. I went there. He's, he doesn't even wear it. Like he just doesn't have a shirt on. He's just like up there, just like popping champagne bottles and like throwing it on the crowd. It's so sick. Did you guys, if you so guys get your gear, make it, make sure it's like something you would rock because then yeah, you yeah, see yeah. it all the time and people are like, yeah. I want that because he's, w not just because you're wearing it because you're a person, but obviously look dope. Right? And yeah. then yeah. also right. send it to Holly Wire yeah, so me and Tony can rock it Oh, we yeah. got you guys. We need clothes, please. I need clothes. No, but I would love to rock rock some in real life merch. Yeah. Ooh, we're so we up with the new design. Yeah, we're going to we're gonna go hard yeah. for dropping a bundle. Bundles? The email loop? Like you guys could do drops. Yeah, we bundles. Could. You could do a drop. Like, you could do an in real life yep. drop. Totally. That's like the, uh, Why don't we? Oh, I phrased that poorly. <laughs> 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 I was kidding. like, what was about that? Yeah. <laughs> we had our first, like, big meeting about all that stuff. So yeah, we now we have to have. There was Chick fil A involved. Separate, there was. Wow, it was great, great meeting. Great meeting. meeting. I got really excited. I was very sick. There was fruit okay. gushers. Everything. Oh, it's oh, yeah. gushers. Yeah. There, was yeah. there was water. So now the next meeting water. is going to be about actually designing it. So. Very true. Chance, cool. are you, what's, what's your style? Explain your what's style. What's my style? Has it changed? Has um, it changed? Or, oh, changed. I wore uh, baseball tees a lot mm. and just like blue jeans and then Converse all the time. Nice. Love and that. then now I switched. <laughs> I forgot you <laughs> wore Air Converse every day. I wore Converse every day. <laughs> White crazy. Converse, black Converse, and I would just like rotate like weekly. Totally oh, and boots. I wore boots a lot. You, Those you uh, Chelsea boot, boots. Yeah, you, you I would always wear those, yeah. I feel were like you, you an athlete? Too. Did was you do, do athlete? sports or anything? Boots, uh, I mean, sure. I, I did sports. No, but um, I was an EMT before the show, and that's that was my sport. Wow! wow. Show wow. choir. That's insane. Show Damn choir. Lives. I did show Don't choir as show well. Choir, Nationally ranked. Thank Ooh. you very much. Oh. Let's get yeah, a clap really cool going. <laughs> get a clap going for that. No, I did show choir in high school, uh, Los Alamitos, and we competed like nationally around the country. Your style reminds cool. me of like the popular dudes in high school the that were sports, that were like totally. athletes, the quarterback. You look like the quarterback. Oh, huh, thanks. That. Do you ever get that? Is that <laughs> He's like the Troy from High School Musical. He's yeah, the, yeah. the Troy. Yes. He's the Troy. Yes. The Troy. I always dreamed of being Troy Bolton. Yeah, that's true. But, uh, what did you used to do? I can't. You yeah. can't. <laughs> you can't. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's all good, though. Um, let's talk a little bit about your red carpet style i saw you guys at that it was a while oh. ago with the iheart radio music awards looking yeah. fresh thank you um how do you put together a red carpet look do you guys have a lot of say in what you wear on the carpets or does yeah. the stylist yeah. come in and we have a new well, system well, yeah, yeah that was the first time i think we had that system too yeah, which is crazy it? Love the tell radio? us about the system that was the first time we'd had that, so th that wait wasn't that the one where that was yeah, Alex. that was one that was one no, 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 no. We did no. another event. We did another event. Uh, I think it was, it was like it was variety or something. Nice. We walked the red carpet. When we no, did, we we're talking about the iHeart Music Trippin Awards. 2019. Yeah. Just yeah. did. Yeah, yeah. like yeah. a couple months ago. talking about the ones from last year. Why would we be talking <laughs> about last year? <laughs> <I'm such laughs> Let's stop arguing and talk about the system. All right. Okay. Yeah. What's yeah. the All system? Right. Okay, the yeah. system. Thank you. Is um, <laughs> we used to um, hire a stylist and then he'd have like a rack of clothes and we'd go in and we'd pick our favorite things from the rack and we'd wear it. Now, there was a thing. we just go shopping oh. together with a budget. 
and we get exactly what we want. Who says that? And it's so uh, much more fun. Oh, I see. So much more fun. It it's right. so much more fun. So what really? you saw at okay. that particular award show was mm-hmm. the first time that we were like, we we're going to dress ourselves in. First, very first time. Like, it's we so funny. First date, like, yeah. it's such a, yeah. s- like, silly concept. Of just, like, dressing <laughs> we yourself. used to, like, have. We dressed ourselves for the first time. We had outfits <laughs> planned for months. <laughs> like, we would walk around with the biggest freaking wardrobe oh bags. Really? They were like from the, they were super long. They're from me to this guy, and Not we'd roll clothes. them over. And we had outfits clothes. every day planned for like six for the first six months of being a band. It was crazy. Um, wow. I know that's it was tough. a whole I don't know. That's too much. Yeah. Was, well, there was so was much. Tough. I like the new system. Yeah, yeah. yeah. we do too. <laughs> and it was, uh, but like a lot of stuff would get lost too. There was just too much clothes. We can keep the clothes now too. That yeah, too, because yeah. before yeah. they would just bring like. Right. Like really nice designer stuff, but like we couldn't keep that. Yeah, like I'd wear a sick jacket, but it's like yeah, turns it's out like, only oh, time you get to wear it. That jacket's eight grand, so just make sure. And I'm like, you oh, bring oh, it back. Like right. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not exactly. gonna drop eight grand on yeah. this jacket. But I'll still wear the eight grand jacket. Yeah, I'll, That's yeah. I'll wear it I'll for sure. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I'll right? let people sure. think that. I have the funds to purchase something like that. <laughs> yeah. But but that's the truth, though, I think, with all celebrities. Like, yeah. I've been on carpets. Uh, we were with Lauren Gray, and she had, like, this gold Versace thing on. Wow. Ooh, that sounds cheap. And she was like, yeah, they just gave that to me yeah. for this carpet. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> she wanted to steal it, obviously. They just gifted that to her? They g- yeah, just for the carpet. That's so cool. Yeah. Yeah. Just that's for the sick. carpet. Hollywood style. Hollywood <laughs> style. <laughs> Fair enough. I, I honestly don't think we even need to go into the third act. What's the third act? The third, the third act is about I think we, like, really, it was about fans and fame. I mean, we can touch on it a little your fans are called your lifelines lifelines Lifelines. they are the best we call them lifelines since the first uh, it was literally second we're going into the third act (laughs) a little bit i mean it's like lifelines touch yeah they basically just they're the ones that put us together we wouldn't be here if it weren't for them they vote at the end of the day america voted for the favorite guys and here we are i'm chilling so now they're our lifelines you know, there was another name that someone came up with a few months ago. Do you guys remember what it was? Not we were a like, few oh, months so ago. Cool. Oh, 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 oh. You know what I'm talking about? I, like, it was, I think they oh. said lifers. No. no, no lifers. It, it was that's like, that's the prison term, right? Yeah, yeah it was the prison term. <laughs> um, I do remember Regardless, that. <laughs> lifelines. Irregardless. Irregardless. <laughs> so wait, did, Irregardless. They, did the fans come up with their own fan name? Is that how that happened? They kind did. Right? We, we put a couple options up on Twitter and they voted, didn't they? And the options were based off of what they were saying. Right. So. I think the worst one was like the realist. Yeah, the so realist. And realist. I actually yeah. love that. One. <laughs> <laughs> That's cool. Yeah, yeah. I'm just kidding. Oh, you like it? Just sounds I like, like it. it. With real. That's a, okay. So yeah. I, I like was it. the only one that backed that up. Actually, <laughs> <laughs> we were on it a live stream. W- one out of four. <laughs> it was crazy. I mean, five. I felt it just seems like it can be taken like negatively too, right? Realist. Like I realist, can. like you just gotta be serious all the time. <laughs> yeah, I right. Guess. You know what I'm saying? Sounds so depressing. That'd be so lame. <laughs> realist? <laughs> yeah. <Yes>. Realist. <laughs> just like I let's be know. realistic, okay? Like <laughs> that's realist. what it sounds Brady, like. I like it, Brady. Um, uh, thank I, you. I like it. Yeah, it's <laughs> cool. Shake like my I'm hand. A fan of it. Um, You're part of a small club. <laughs> do you guys interact with your fans via social media? I, I feel like some artists yeah. do it, some artists completely don't. Or how <laughs> how active yeah. are you guys with your fans on social media? Recently, I've been doing it a lot more. Super active. Um, you have yo, to. People, people don't, don't do that. But you have Halsey, to. Halsey? Oh. No, no, like those he people are... No, 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 no. It's like a huge no. thing, I noticed. Like, not a lot of people. people don't do that. I think... Well, to be honest, I really did it in the beginning. Until, really? Until really? more well, recently. Well, I mean, it's hard because you have to find the balance of like, are you giving them too much right. access yeah. to totally. who you are? And it's yeah. like, are you... You also have to keep yourself like... They basically know everything about us. <laughs> like yeah. I know everything yeah. about so, like, us. So I don't. I personally, I don't answer DMs. I read DMs, mm-hmm. and if there's something that I feel like I'm compelled to like reply back, I'll go to their page and I'll comment on their picture or something like that. Yeah. But I don't want them to feel like they can almost like there's a dependency yeah, almost. You know what I mean? Like totally. I don't want totally. them yeah. them to me then be their t- pure source of happiness. Yeah. Because yeah. if they're going through something, then and th- they're like, oh, like I have to. DM Connor or whatever. And I'm like, I, I can't have that responsibility right. all the time. Right, right. Yeah, and they need to figure that out with themselves. <laughs> There's definitely a balance to, like, exactly like Mike was saying. Like, yes, I, I think it's really important to interact with fans, and that's what grows your fan base, and they obviously really appreciate that. But there's also, there's a reason why, like, Zane is so interesting to everyone, because, like, he's just, like, so mysterious and, like, yeah. tucked away, and, like, nobody can access him. Totally. And then, and that, I don't know, there's, there's, there's something about that that's sick. I agree. Taylor's great with her fans. Yeah. She's always yeah. amazing. Yeah. Yeah. I and see we her pop into the live yeah. streams a lot of her fans. And yeah. then, like, yeah. uh-huh. those videos are sick. Right. We it's just like an extra touch. I mean, I didn't know Halsey didn't really communicate. No, with I mean, fans. a lot of people really don't. Like, you'll never see Post Malone 
ever like oh, I, know. I always bring up Post Malone I really love yeah. him but they they <laughs> say, to talk about Halsey I have seen a lot of videos of her like at her concerts yeah. Um, and there's like fans who come up to her and yeah. say, "Hey, do you remember me?" And she's like, "Yes, like we sat in a park to eat, like wow. I just met you in a park." Oh, so she's yeah. an analog she, person. Yeah, she's, and that's mm. great. So when yeah. she's, she's in real life, in she's person, yeah, in real that's life. amazing. Yeah, yeah. yeah. In she's life. in real life. <laughs> <laughs> she's in real life. Oh, yeah, we try to do a lot of events for them too. Yeah. We actually before we put out any of the stuff that we put out this year, uh, we sh- we did like a little event where uh, we brought some fans out to this cool little place, I guess, studio, and we showed them the crazy F. The song and the video. Yeah. We showed them she do. It's not even out yet. Um, we showed them a different one that's not out yet. So, and we've done a few stuff, a few things like that too. So we try to do as much as we can for them because totally. they're super dope and they're homies. I w- I've become yeah. homies with a bunch of them because they're mad chill. So yeah. like that's what's up. Yeah. Well, you guys are homies. I, we're, I think this is we've we've uh, yeah. covered everything. Yeah. yeah. Thank you guys awesome. so much for coming thank in you. here. Yeah. Thank you. If there's anything you guys want us to remove from this, just say it now. <laughs> yeah. Uh, <laughs> honestly, <laughs> fine. For me, I think literally most of it's every game. Fine. You guys are yeah, yeah, this is fun. Okay. Good combos. So we, when you co- we have a lot to do, right? Mm-hmm. We got to do a music video together, yeah. merch sure. together, <laughs> yeah, definitely. and we got to go on a couple dates together. Maybe. Yeah. Who knows? Whoa. What up? Whoa. In real yeah. life, guys. Peace. Bye. Bye. Ha <laughs> ha. <laughs>